What is going on guys? Happy Friday. So in today's video, we are going to be working on this guy right here. So we are going to be putting some lights in it. I have started already. Um, I put some tail lights in there. This guys is the bracket that holds on the front bumper for the deadbolt in the Jeep. Yes. So the bumper little um, prongs or whatever, lack of another word, uh, go into those holes where the lights are in. So yeah, I just stuck that in the frame and stuck the lights in there. And the screws, I used long enough screws to go through there to bolt it to the frame to uh, put pressure on the light bulb so it doesn't fall out all the time. And then in the front, guys, these are, again, the bumper brackets that the bumper, wait a minute, ooh, I might be wrong. I think that bumper, yes, this bracket is for the deadbolt. These brackets are for the Jeep. The Jeep and maybe the C10? Nope, the C10 has yet a different bumper bracket. Um, it looks kind of weird. I don't have one available, but yeah, it looks kind of weird. But anyway, so I did run the lights all in there. I installed a servo Y connection wire. Um, it basically just gives you two plugs um, that you can plug into. So I'm going to be connecting this wire to this wire for the right side of the truck and this wire left side of the truck <laughs> and this wire to this wire for the right side of the truck. <laughs> so um, yeah, let me get my tools around again and Come along with me and yeah, we'll see what it's all about. Be right back.
guys, we are done. Look at that. Aren't those things freaking bright? So <clears throat> I did at one point have lights down here already. Um, I had the stock deadbolt bumper up here. Um, but I thought I would just put, instead of these, I would put um, red lights in the back and I needed the bumper bracket for the back and then yeah don't ask me why I didn't use the stock wiring harness for this um, oh I know why because these lights are plugged into another jumper that plugged into the lights for these so I didn't want to have to plug in all kinds of freaking plugs when I put the body on to get the batteries to work. So these two lights here are literally the only ones I have to plug in when I put the body on. The red lights and these lights stay on the chassis when I take the body off. So these bottom lights stay on and the red lights stay on. So yeah. That is that in a nutshell, guys. Hopefully you guys can see that all right. But, um, yeah. So, as always, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Happy Friday. Bye.